Paranormal Peeps, it's me, Paranormal Girl, back again with another video somehow. So, I'm sure you read the title of this video, and you may be wondering what kind of video this is going to be. Now, this is not going to be a video where I break down and cry. Um, don't expect that. If you want to see me cry, this is not the video to go to. And I don't have any videos to recommend to you if you want to see me cry. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe you should recommend videos to me to make me cry. Um... Anyway, that aside, so this is also not going to be a video where I'm asking for your pity or I'm asking for you to give me your condolences, whatever else. And now is not the time to be all sad and upset because we're already in this crazy world and what I'm saying now before I even get into what's going on, um, with the world that we're living in now, I find that it's best if I just stay positive. And that's one of the reasons why this is not getting me down and why this news does not bother me as much as it may bother someone else. One, another thing I would like to say, if someone else is in the same situation as I do, I'm not saying that how I'm reacting to it is the right and correct way and I'm not saying the way that somebody else may react to it is wrong or they need to do something different. Everybody is different and things affect people differently. I'm just saying that I'm taking this with as much posit positivity as I can, especially how the world is nowadays. So let's get into it. As you saw by the title of this video, I have the half pint A. It's not the big A. It's not something crazy and life changing, I wouldn't say at least, because I know like there's the big C, cancer. Um, I don't know what the big A would be. So the half pint A is alopecia. I have been diagnosed with alopecia. Mm -hmm. um, and now some of you may be wondering, I've gotten this reaction before, that there's no way I could possibly have alopecia. I have hair. Alopecia doesn't necessarily take out all of your hair. It just can get rid of some. For any of you who don't know what alopecia is, alopecia is an autoimmune disease that affects your hair follicles. I'll actually use a paper to reference it as best I can. After my diagnosis, the doctor gave me a paper explaining everything and talking about things and like how parents should react with it because as someone who is not considered an adult um things like this go to my parents first so allow me to flip okay so an overview Alope um to also explain i have alopecia areata i think i'm pronouncing it right um I don't know what other types of alopecia there are. I haven't done a lot of research outside of what I've been given because it's not great to research things on Google. That's how you panic. That's how you think something's really, really wrong. So alopecia areata is caused by a reaction from a person's own immune system and autoimmune condition resulting in hair loss. The immune, the immune system of the body for unknown reasons mistakenly stops growing hair. Hair usually grows back on its own spontaneously, though the hair loss often happens again. Hair loss may be patchy or wide, more widespread, diffuse. It may affect the scalp as well as the body. Hair loss may be seasonal. There is no long-term cure for hair loss, and the causes can be both family-related, genetic, and related to outside environmental exposures. So, that's what I have. It's an, auto it's an autoimmune disease where my immune system is attacking my hair. I have currently two bald spots. As I like to call them, Rita and San Juanita. Right around here is Rita, and over here is San Juanita. Um, I don't remember um, San, Juani <laughs> San Juanitas. I like to name them because it's fun. Um, San Juanita, I don't remember the um, measurements of it. We have measured it so we can keep track of whether they're getting bigger. Um, you can't tell if they're getting smaller. Well, you can, but you wouldn't measure it to see if it's getting smaller. You'd notice that hair is starting to grow back. Um, but Rita is uh, half an inch by an inch last we measured, which was about two weeks ago. Now let me give you the story of how we found out about this. So my school did a musical, and when the time came for that musical, I normally would like French braid my, my mom French braid my hair, and then I'd take it out so it'd be curly. Well, with the musical coming around, my hair had to be styled a certain way, so there was no point in putting it in French braid so it could be curly. So after that, I fell out of the habit of having my hair French braided, and for work one day, I wanted my mom to French braid my hair. Well, while she's doing it, because um, we I do double French braids, I don't need, I do double French braids, so the part goes about here. Well, my mom's pulling some hair over, and she sees a bald spot. So she tells me that she's found one. She takes a picture. She measures it, and I think, oh, it's just a bald spot. I have really, I have a really, really itchy scalp. It's probably I just itch it way too much. So I just damaged some of my hair so it fell out. 
Um, so later that night, my mom talks about a doctor's appointment. Now, with how everything is going on right now, it can't be a face-to-face -face appointment. It had to be over a um, video call. Uh, it's called Zipnosis. I like to say I got a diagnosis on a Zipnosis. Um, and so I was like, why? It's just a bald spot. Um, and she's like, it might be more than just a bald spot. Your hair's falling out. It's not okay. You need to look into it. Now, I'm, like, thinking, like, it's no big deal. Well, the next day, she talks about the appointment, and I just, like, chuckle a little bit. She's like, what do you find so funny? And for me, I'm like, it's just a bald spot. It's not that big of a deal. Well, it kind... My mom said it can be, and she didn't want to tell me that she thought I had alopecia. She has a friend who has it, so she thought it looked familiar. She didn't want to tell me, and I said... I pretty much was like, I have a condition where I lose my hair, don't I? Like, something like that. And when she told me what alopecia was, I was like, well, what is it? And she's like, I don't want to worry you yet. And I said, I'm just going to look it up. Well, I already kind of had an idea of what alopecia was. I knew enough to know that you would lose your hair from it. So, over the course of about a week and a half, I had a doc I had an appointment with my pediatrician and an appointment with a dermatologist. When I had my appointment with the dermatologist, that was when I was diagnosed with alopecia areata. I don't know if I'm saying that right. So, um, it seems like this crazy world changing thing, cause if you don't tell, if you can't tell, I have a lot of hair. I like my hair long, I like it colorful, I like it everything. I like my hair. Well now my hair's falling out in two different places. And we don't know if this is just like the worst of it. Like I'm just gonna have these two spots, after a while my hair's gonna grow back. But we don't know if I'm going to start getting more bald spots later, now, we're not sure. But we need to monitor my hair, which is something that's on an ongoing process. Um, but one thing the dermatologist prescribed me is a steroid cream that would help my hair grow back and help prevent more hair loss. Now, I haven't started using the steroid cream, which is one of the reasons why I've made this video, is I wanted to make a video and kind of document my journey with alopecia. Now, alopecia isn't something that will ever go away completely. Like, I, I could go 20 years of my life without having a bald spot and then get one. It's just not something that goes away. It stays forever. Whether it flares up is a completely different story. Well, with alopecia, uh, there's many different things that can happen. It's not just the hair on my head that could be falling out. I could have spots on my arms or, or my legs. You wouldn't really notice those. And uh, if I was a male and I had facial hair, you might see spots there too. So I might have flare-ups and not even realize it because I'm not going to notice if there's a bald spot on the back of my leg. It's really only noticeable when it's on the top of my head. I could also lose eyebrows and eyelashes, but that doesn't really worry me. I'm not a person who's into makeup, but if I felt uncomfortable with not having eyebrows or having like a bald spot in my eyebrows, I would just learn how to do makeup and fill in my eyebrows. And if I lost my eyelashes, I would just wear false ones if it bothered me so much. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about any of this. It's all on the outside. I understand it's my immune system and there's something wrong with it, but it's nothing that's going to kill me. It's just on the outside. And I understand if people take it a lot harder than I'm taking it, it's completely fine. I've had so many people who are like, I'm here for you, it's okay, all of that stuff, and it's completely acceptable for people to think that, but woo, video stopped recording because why not? <clears throat> My neck is sweaty. <laughs> so I know I left off around when I was talking about how this was on the outside. I'm not 100% sure what all I've missed, but um, one thing I'm pretty sure I missed was talking about the wigs. So if any of you are wondering about the wigs, um, I got those about 60, 16 months ago. No, about six months ago. I was diagnosed with alopecia about two weeks ago from the time of the filming of this video. So probably like a month ago by the time this video comes out but pretty much those wigs have nothing to do with you'll see me in a beanie before you see me wearing one of those and I did talk about the fact that it'd be pretty nice to be able to wear a hat in school if I did have a obvious bald spot um but I'd be more likely to style my hair differently 
I'm just going through everything that I said in my mind because it's not quite the same for me to just repeat it because I'm also not reading off of a script so nothing's delivered the same um and I don't it's not quite the same for me to say things over again because it loses some of the emotion that it had when I was first saying it not like this is like emotional but I'm talking from the heart for a lot of this stuff because I'm talking about how I feel about this honestly and I noticed that my face was very <laughs> white in the video I didn't do anything to fix it um, I had to empty out a bunch of my card storage, so hopefully I have enough time to finish this video, but it's probably going to be a long one because I'm talking about some serious stuff. I don't know if I talked about me being really transparent. If I did, I'll probably just cut this out, but if I didn't, hi! <laughs> um, about if I have my hair styled differently, anything like that, it's because I, if I want to, like for any of you who want to start a conspiracy out there, if my hair styled differently and it's because of this, I will tell you, I want to be as transparent as possible about this. Um, because, and I don't care who knows, like, anything like that, obviously, I'm putting this video on YouTube for whoever wants to see it, to see it. Um, and whoever wants to know, to know. Um, and I'm not, like, worried about people knowing or anything like that. Everybody I know, well, almost everybody I know knows. <laughs> um, it's also just a hard thing to bring up to just, like, in a conversation be like, hey, by the way, I've been diagnosed with alopecia. But there is, when I did tell some of my friends, because we're in, because <laughs> we're in corona time, dog, because <laughs> we're in quarantine, I had to text all my friends. I couldn't tell them in person. So it was fun, because I already talked to some people about it being like, I've been dealing with bald spots. Um... And for some of them, it's like, okay, so a week and a half ago, we found some bald spots. I've had blah, blah, blah. And pretty much with, like, the, the, like, confetti emoji, I was like, I've been diagnosed with confetti emoji, alopecia confetti emoji, because I couldn't remember what Arietta, the Arietta, I couldn't remember it till I got the paper that told me. <laughs> um, I don't know if I talked about the fact that I've gotten a steroid cream for it that's supposed to help my hair grow back. So I haven't started using it yet, but I will be using it maybe tomorrow might be the first day I use it because I have gotten it. Um, I don't know. I'll try to document me using it and stuff so you can see. <laughs> um, but to talk about when my hair grows back. Um, when my hair grows back, I might have, my hair might grow back with less color, which means it could be hypopigmented or white. I'm rooting for it to be white because that sounds fantastic. Imagine like white, it wouldn't be necessarily white streaks because my hair has to completely grow back and this is from years of getting a trim. So like it, I'd have like my little white streak, like white puffs at first and bet your bottom dollar if I can I will be making them beautiful neon colors. And this is also quite often for alopecia areata it's common. It's not like on rare cases will it grow back white it's often when the hair crumb when the hair crumbs back when the air grows when the hair grows back <laughs> it'll come back white or hypopigmented i'm very excited for that to happen I, like i'm rooting for it to happen i'm not like i just want normal hair no i want white hair like that'd be so cool for like the questions when it's like what hair color would this person choose i want to put white because then I can make it every color of the rainbow without having to bleach it. I'm planning on documenting kind of my journey with this. Um, I might look into some other YouTubers. Um, oh, I do like to make the joke, I'll look like Anna or I'll look like Elsa, if you get what I mean. <laughs> I feel like if I came down to the situation where it was like, I want to have a wig to wear normally, I would invest in a very nice wig that looks realistic and it'd probably be some fluorescent color. But it wouldn't be your party city wig, it'd actually be like an expensive wig that you that would look real because I don't want to wear some super fake looking wig because part of the idea of wearing a wig for me at least when if I wanted to to hide like spots is I want it to look real so it'd be kind of like the kind of wig that maybe someone with like cancer or something would wear because they want it to look more real I guess I'm going to double over on the fact that I'm perfectly fine how I am, I am perfectly fine. Like I said, positivity is really what I want to strive for in this situation. If I lose my hair, I lose my hair. It's something that I would not be bold enough to do on my own. So I think it's really interesting that it could be pushing me to something. that It's not like it's never crossed my mind to have really short hair or shave my head. But it's always been something that's crossed my mind. I'm like, no way, because I love my hair. <laughs> um, but... How I am now is like, if I lost my hair, I'm fully ready for it. It'd be something crazy. It'd be something different. 
and I feel like I could be proud with it. I like no matter what happens, I can be proud of my hair. Because if it has white streaks, it's my hair fighting back. <laughs> I, I guess you could say that. I know it's not quite it, but like, it's it's just cool to be able to say I have naturally white streaks, even though it might be only two, one here and one here. I It's natural. There's nothing unnatural about it. And like, if I don't have any hair, well, like, <laughs> it's just, it's me. <laughs> uh, I don't know what else to really say in this video, but like for anybody else going through this situation, like, I don't know what to say. Like I could say, oh, be positive about it, but I don't know your situation. I don't know if you're relapsing with this and you're having flare ups again. Um, oh, one thing I did want to talk about was best case scenario and worst case scenario. So worst case scenario, you can imagine I lose absolutely all the hair on my body. That means I have no hair in my head, no eyebrows, no eyelashes, no leg hair, no pit hair, none of that. Best case scenario, I lose all my leg and my armpit hair. No shaving. Can't complain. And if it grew back white or hypopigmented, I'd have to shave it less <laughs> or not at all because you wouldn't be able to tell. But one thing I really want to do is update my journey with what's going on with my head. <laughs> Like, just keeping you guys updated, like, oh, I am started using my steroid cream, and, like, this is putting it on for the first time ever, and this is one week later, and there's nothing's happening, but we're trying something, because technically something's better than nothing, but it could do nothing. <laughs> um, I'm not super sciencey, so I can't explain to you, like, the technicalities of why it works, but I did have explained to me why it's safe, because a lot of you may be thinking it's steroid cream. Steroid. There's bad things about steroids. We had it explained to us, me and my mom, because she was with the, she was in the hypnosis with me. She, we had it explained to us why it's safe and why it's not going to kill me or anything like that. I don't know if steroids can kill me, but like why it's not dangerous and why it's okay for me to use. So to just show you what's going on and maybe be like, hey guys, maybe one day I'll just pop in and be like, hey guys, I have a new bald spot coming in. It's circle it's on the left side of my ha head and I have named him Juan who knows and maybe one day I could be talking about maybe somewhere along the line I may be doing a video where I shave my head because I have so many spots there's no point in trying to keep what's left of my hair because the rest of my my spots when they grow back they're never going to catch up which is a reality that I've had to think of that I have thought about I haven't had to think about it but I've thought about it like if I had enough bald spots, I would probably shave my head because depending on how thin my hair got, there'd be no point in hoping that it could be fine when it started to grow back because it'd just be so uneven because this is years and years of just getting a trim. It'll take years and years of just getting a trim for it to all grow back and it would never be the same length. And if it was enough hair, it'd just be uneven and there'd there really would be no point, which is why personally I'm hoping I don't lose all of my hair. <laughs> As positive I am about this, I it's just not something I'm like hoping for because really if I want to lose my hair, I just shave my head. Like if that's the style I wanted, I'm I would go for it. I would shave my head if I wanted to. And I'm not saying that in like one of those like rebellious teen or whatever, like I'll shave my head like like, my mom's full support of, like, anything I want to do with my hair. Her mentality is it's just hair, so, like, if I wanted to get, like, a back shave, I don't know what it's called, but, like, when you shave the back of your head, I could. If I want to shave the side of my head, I could. If I wanted to get a pixie cut, I could. Um, so, like I said, if I wanted to have a shaved head, I would have a shaved head. Which is one of the reasons why I'm not rooting for it, but I am rooting for white hair. <laughs> so I guess I gotta make up my mind here. I think it looks sick with, like, a white pixie cut. I have no clue actually. I think about like what my hair might look like short and I don't think it'd look good. I don't know, but I'm so used to seeing myself with my luscious locks. Ah ha ha. Um, one thing that I'm going to point out now is I'll probably make a lot of jokes about it. And if you haven't seen this video, which now that you've watched it, you have, but there will be jokes and videos and you might not get the jokes until this video comes out. <laughs> Um, cause the videos don't necessarily come out in order, and like I said, I've been di I was diagnosed like two weeks ago, so videos have been filmed in between where I might have made jokes about it. So that's one thing to help you show that I'm really comfortable with it, is I'm going to make a lot of jokes about it. And it's something I've learned from other people who have conditions that aren't necessarily ideal, 
They make jokes about it to help other people feel comfortable and to just show that they're okay with it and just to help everything. So I'll be making a lot of jokes about it. Like how I said I, I got a diagnosis on a zipnosis. I'm gonna look like Anna. <laughs> I'm not like panicking on the inside. I'm perfectly fine. Um, I don't really know what kind of stuff I should be saying at the end of the video or like whatever. Um, the thing that I want to say is really any case scenario, I want to say be positive, but I don't understand your situation. But I do think positivity is a really good mentality to have because this would be a completely different situation for me if I wasn't being positive about it and trying to look towards new opportunities and the cool sides of it. Um, I really don't know what else to say, but that is me. I have the half pint A. Um, and I'm ready for whatever storm's going to hit me. I thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. I can imagine it's pretty long, and I can imagine it wasn't the most interesting thing to watch because all it is is me talking about a medical, a medical condition that might not even relate to you remotely. But I thought you guys should know, and also, so when I made jokes about it, there's not, like, the side of, like, wait, she's losing her hair? Like, did she say something about alopecia? Like, anything like that? Well... That concludes today's video. I will see you in another one, maybe. <laughs> I don't like to say this one's downbeat, but I am announcing a medical condition, so I don't know how upbeat it can be. But I will see you in the next one in a hopefully more entertaining, there's the word, video. Goodbye. Oh, 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 I also wanted to mention I really like how my setup is. I have these nice little lights. I really like it. And I have the ring light right here, like the camera, like that. And I'm digging this setup, except the fact that I've my shins hurt. Because I'm not, if I were to stand straight, I stand like this, but I had myself turned. I probably started doing this at times, but there's just a bunch of stuff at my feet. Surprise, she who must not be named didn't talk, because I had to unplug her to plug her in. So I kept it plugged in, my ring light plugged in. But that's like the end of the spiel, and I really hope to be able to use this setup more, because I think it's really pretty. Um, the other problem is, is there's not the most space, but if I don't have, if I don't do a video where I have to have something in front of me, it'll be fine. But like I said, that concludes today's video.